Well, in the drive-thru of McDonald's right now, it's Jacob. It's... I'm Lucas. And today, we're gonna eat McDonald's with you guys. We're gonna share a meal. Not with you guys. With you. Oh, we yeah. You. Get out with your you. food, get out your <laughs> snacks, lay it down on the coffee table, sprawl yourself out, and eat with us. That's so funny, thinking about people eating with us, because... It's like, one person. I know, it's like, hey. you guys eating with us, we can't see you, but like... I can kind of visualize it. I know. I feel like someone's eating a cinnamon roll in Cincinnati. Oh, wait. Well, Audi almost... Okay, we're one away. I don't know what I want I know. Yet. I might have turned this camera on too late. I think I might get a quarter pound of meal. Keep it simple. Uh, I kind of want to try their new spicy chicken sandwich, but also that's a gamble. Oh, yeah. They have these I'm new chicken gamble. sandwiches. I'm trying something new. By the way, this video is a is a different type of video. I'm, I'm not even going to edit it. Usually with these videos, I would cut out the silence but this one i'm just gonna keep it in everything even if we say something cancel worthy something horrible we're keeping it all in i am on my best behavior today so i don't say anything bad I'm, i wouldn't say anything bad hello. anyway but hello you guys today? good oh i said i don't know why i said good <laughs> um did you guys have a new chicken sandwich or something yeah we have the small mc chicken and then we have a bigger crispy chicken sandwich and then a grilled chicken sandwich is there a spicy one no um, I'll get the grilled chicken sandwich, the okay. big one in the meal. Medium or large? I'll do medium. What's a drink? Um, a Diet Coke. Okay. Um, I think I get, um, a Coro Pondo meal. Okay, medium as well? Uh, yeah, um, and with a Diet Coke. I'm sorry, you said what? Um, and with a Diet Coke. Okay, anything Thank else you. for you guys today? Is that it? Um, and I think that's all. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Okay, you guys can go ahead and pull forward. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. you. Oh, I'm yeah. excited. So That's so, like the new thing for drive throughs like people outside. Have you noticed that? Oh, yeah. So so it started at Chick-fil-A. They do this thing where, like, in and, 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 and out. out. They do this thing where, like, if you get there, like, they just have someone ordering outside. Yeah. But now they're doing at McDonald's. But I think it's more of, like, a California thing because it's hot here. But even in Nebraska. And then they did it in Nebraska, too, which is crazy. I don't it know if, like, there. drive throughs maybe just aren't effective enough. They need somebody out here, but... Oh yeah, I felt so, rushed though. Like, I, I don't know. even know if I want that. I'm excited to try it, but like, I feel like I didn't. I thought they had a barbecue. I felt like I was on the spot, even though I wasn't. Oh, yeah, and I just had to pick that. So, um, I always do this thing where, like, when I order, like, or when I say, oh, like, when when someone asks, like, what's your name, I just think like I pause for a second, and I think, cause like, like they didn't ask what my name is, but sometimes when people ask what my name is, I pause for two seconds. And then I say Jacob, so I think that like I think they think that I'm making up my name, which like there'd be no <laughs> point to do that. But yeah. What what are you thinking during those seconds where you're pausing? Like I think are you it remembering just like, your name or like is it just like a habit at this point? I think it's just a habit. It's like stuttering or something. It's like uh -huh. a habit at this point. Just yeah. Own it. Yeah. I, but but for this video, by the way, I've seen so many other people do this. Like for example, Trisha Paytas, um, a bunch of other people, Chelsea Lynn. They do these, these videos where they just fully go through a drive through and I was like, I, I I don't think I've ever done this, so. Full, you think you're, something about watching someone go through a drive through is just satisfying, you know? Oh yeah, it's I like. I don't know what it is. Because I was thinking about going to Shake Shack for this, but it's not a drive through so it's not oh, the same yeah. thing. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be the same feel. Yeah, and I actually, oh, that, that cow bin over there, that with semi back, semi truck thing says LSD on it. Where? So. It oh. seems like we're making this up, but we're not. <laughs> Graffiti. So, um, I actually have some topics in my phone, too, because... Oh my god, you... I feel like I'm on a talk show. I know. This is like, this is like, um, uh, karaoke time with James Corden. But before we get into this, I just have to say, Thank how you. come Trisha Paytas went to a McDonald's and got a spicy chicken sandwich, but they don't have that here? Was it a one-week only? Was it? I think that was not... I think that was at Wendy's. It was McDonald's. Was it? I think. I feel like I have to double check, oh. but I'm pretty sure she went to McDonald's, got a spicy chicken sandwich, and she reviewed it. Because oh. you know spiky chicken, spicy chicken sandwiches Maybe they like sold out. all the rage right now. Yeah, spicy chicken chicken sandwiches are so good. And like that's gonna... It's gonna end the world, I feel like. Probably. So, um... We should have gotten a filet o fish Oh, I don't think I've had that. Should I order one at the window? Oh, yeah, you should. I kind of want to try it. I, I, I love some of it, too. I remember one time I watched a YouTuber get that, and they got a double-stacked filet fish with extra mayo, and I was like, sounds good, but also, like, extremely gross, but I want to try it. Extra mayo? Yeah, double-stacked. I've, I've, we're, I've, we're splitting one. Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes I would also get the McChicken, if you guys are wondering. Oh, yeah, snack wrap if, like, it's an oh. afternoon. <laughs> you need, like, a pick-me-up. Oh, yeah, so... 
Um, one of the topics that I had that we can just talk about right now. So, we can just say that obviously McDonald's is like probably fake. Me, but oh, like, yeah. are you okay with it? But, so my thing is, is that it's probably fake meat and like, is it, and how would chicken be like that? But the thing is, is that I, I think I'm fine with it. Yeah, honestly, like, we, I don't know, this is probably a very unpopular opinion, but somehow processed food <laughs> <laughs> is like, better. Somehow, because we went to this farmer's market a few days ago, and like, they had this organic, completely real chicken fried <laughs> yeah. sandwich, and like, it was just gross because when you bit into the sandwich, like, there were veins, and like, it just was, you felt like there were dark pieces, which yeah. like, I understand that's how chicken is, but like, part of me, the disgusting Kinda. part of me just wants a processed ass, every patty looks the same. I know! No veins, probably half plastic. That's what's so gross is that what is so used to all this fake shit that when something real comes in it's like ew. Yeah that's not right. I need to work on that. But should we tell them that we're, we're actually treating you guys. We're actually treating you and we're treating ourselves because For we're what? at the fancy McDonald's. We are. We so, live near a lot of unfancy McDonald's and we drove out of our way into the nice part of LA. It's by Beverly Hills. So like we're like we just like we're like. Do you know the fun fact about Beverly Hills? They have no fast food. No chains, fast right? food is allowed in Beverly Hills, but somehow this I think this is technically Century City. Yeah, so we just thought like, this you know, we should be for sure. Like, everything is double the price here. I went pee inside before <laughs> I went to this drive-thru. <laughs> Can you imagine if it actually was all double price? <laughs> no, just but everyone looked fancy in there. For real? Like it was like like blouses. Know, it was like, it felt like, I don't know, like it felt like it was a fancy brunch place. <laughs> Wait, for Except what? I had sunglasses on inside, like, oh. Just like, was it like three Gucci t-shirts? Yeah, it was so bougie. That's the vibe that I'm getting. The oh, bathroom yeah, was locked, because that's <gasps> how fancy it was. They were like, if you aren't giving How'd us your How'd you get point, the code? I just went to the front desk and said, like, can, I, can you unlock it? And they just trusted me that I was going to order here. Oh, okay. Why the paying window? Ask for a fish fillet. And also, here's my card. Can I add something? Can I add a filet of fish and can we also get um, hand sanitizing wipes? Do you guys have those? No, we just gotta try napkins. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, 1935. Just trying to like, you know, get the clean hands. Oh yeah, by getting the hand sanitizing wipes. Dude, you don't have any more left, do you? I know, I don't have any. Wait. Thank oh, you. you Make sure you blow your credit card. Oh yeah, I purposely put it under because I didn't want to put in that apple, but. Okay, so I don't think I've had a fish fillet. Maybe I have and I forgot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you want any ketchup? Do you want any ketchup? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, please. we'll have some. Have you guys noticed that these jazz are so cool? I know, iconic. Never change. I, iconic. Wait. I thought, I thought they banned plastic straws. From everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, the oh food God. in the bag. The filet of fish we added it, and within what, what was that? Thirty seconds. It's in the bag. That's what I've wondered about fast food. So, so is it literally just microwave? Because I always joke about it. it's all microwave food. But is it? Actually oh yeah, microwave food? but like a fancy microwave. It's not yeah. like some like apartment microwave. It's like a big industrial factory microwave. So it's kind of which is kind of which is good. Enhances it. Yeah. Mmm. Well, like, what I picture in the back, I just picture a bunch of, um, like, just a bunch of food already made, and they put it in the bag, you know? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, this McDonald's was popping, by the way. Today's Thursday. Shit. If so, you guys have never parking. been to L.A., parking is a nightmare. It's one of the things about L.A. all of us know. <laughs> all of us L.A. people. Try to park here. We're fine, right? I feel like since we're in the car, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And if, like, they do find us, at least it'll be on video. So you can be like, find we got us. arrested, <laughs> nothing. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. This I'm isn't right that. that we're doing it. So. Unbuckle, get oh, ready. Oh, yeah. Move our seats back, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. By the way, I did want to drive, but I was too much of a... Um, you trying can, to think of an unproblematic word. Yeah, I was going to say pussy, but... I'll just say it. I was too much of a pussy to um, drive. You, can, you drive in other states, but somehow in LA you're just so against it. Plus, okay, so Lucas has like a SUV. I don't know what you call this, but I, an SUV. I drive like a Fiat 500, which is so small. And I'm not down to drive a SUV. Even when I drive my mom's car, it's like, our mom's car, it's like, I'm scared. Yeah, I get you. Okay, should we eat the fish filet first? Oh. <laughs> Did it touch me. you? Um, look at it, guys. 
Okay. Uh, that's yummy. Honestly, it smells good. Wait. What I, I, I like how is. it's a. I just like <laughs> that smart. <laughs> Canned fish, right? Um, maybe. Okay, should I split it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hell yes. I love the how they slam out. the Taudo sauce on. Ew, you I ripping know, it. Like, gross. at least ask for silverware, you know what I mean? Okay. Ah, oh, 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 oh my god. Shit. Wait. What happened? The stickiness went away of that thing, uh, look. Uh, wait, will it stay up though if we try it again? Let me try it. Oh, shit. I might have to fix this, you guys. <laughs> the stress, <laughs> but trying to like keep a positive attitude. Oh yeah, so, like, I might have to face this. I'm not, I'm not fully saying like fuck, fuck shit. Okay, oh, I, is this good? good? I think it's too much on me. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, get yours. And let's oh, cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Honestly, good. I have nothing bad to say. Wait. This is what it looks like in the inside? Is this like my new thing? Oh, you're supposed to, I heard in mukbangs. You're supposed you're to supposed show to, it. Not, you're supposed to, it's like, I guess it's a subconscious thing where like they feel like they're getting fed. Mmm, you, yep. Mm, yep, yeah. there's your bite, Stacey. That looks gross. Okay. I don't want to Benjamin. It is good though. I'm not trying to be skinny either, but I don't want. I'm fucking spilling it everywhere. It's my fucking car! Oh my fucking god, I'm sorry. If you're on an all fish diet, pescatarian. Let's set it on the floor for right now. Growing up, I went to um, Catholic school and we had the Lent. Oh yeah! So. You could only eat fish on Fridays or something. We used to be so hardcore Catholic and um. Yeah, and there was only fish on Fridays. So I remember we started to eat mac and cheese on Fridays. Mmm. <laughs> You know about that, like mac and cheese days? It's supposed to be like they're giving up something when we eat mac and cheese. <laughs> That's like even worse probably, right? Mmm. Okay, we have the flies. Should we dig into one of the topics? Oh. Uh, didn't you mention one in the drive through What happened to that? Oh, fake me! Oh uh, yeah, we in our podcast, so, if you didn't know we had a podcast, follow uh, it. Link below, it's always in both the well. Channels. Somebody, it's probably something the best time to mention, but somebody told us that McDonald's has G-Wagon. These are Kardashians. Oh my gosh, should we taste them? Somebody told us that there was a rumor that McDonald's used human meat. <laughs> what? I just don't believe that. That'd be so expensive. Maybe once though, I got one location. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Do you know what's gross is that a McDonald's employee, if they, by the way, this is gross as shit. I know I'm packing with my mouth open, but if a McDonald's everyone. employee, I know, I feel like it's everyone does it, but if a McDonald's employee wanted to, I could hide, walk at McDonald's and couldn't I bring in my own meat and solve it? Which is obviously illegal, but. If you wanted to, but like, why waste your money and time? That's true. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're okay with fake meat? Uh huh. Is that vegan? Yeah, so I don't know how that works. Are we, is this vegan? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I feel like we need to Google, like, what percentage of the Big Mac is fake meat. I just feel like it might all be real meat. They're such um, a big company. And maybe the chicken, though. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're such a big company that like it's all real. They can afford it. That's true. But then, uh, I'm not gonna talk about this. Why are we getting into this when I'm about to eat? I was gonna talk about like chickens being shoved in cages, but I've watched That's too so many sad. documentaries. But let's not talk about it. Well, um, all right. I wanted to include a controversial topic okay. for everyone. Um, that actually like wants to use the brain cells, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I don't want this to just be... Okay, so... I have such controversial topics because when I think of controversial, I just think about like politics. But this is what came up. This isn't about politics. It said, this is a controversial topic, okay? Is milk healthy for you? This was on a list of top 100 controversial topics. I don't know. That's a hard one. So, it was a thing. I don't drink actual milk most of the time. I still eat ice cream, but sometimes I'm just grossed out by it for no reason. Oh, you're like a vegan at heart, I feel like. Because you always are like, I'm grossed out by meat and all this stuff. I don't even think about it. Oh, yeah, like there's so many times where... Why don't you just become vegan? I, oh, story time. Jacob has attempted it. Last week. So, 
Usually we all eat the same thing for dinner. We just like eat like um salmon or like um like chicken or something. But last week I was like, you know what? So then I got beans and rice from the store. I'm gonna be vegan. So but so I got beans and rice, and I was like, but then it, it tasted so boring. So I quit halfway through. Oh, uh, you need to find a good recipe. Should we do a thumbnail? Oh yeah, shit. Thank God for me for reminding you. Of I know. Shit. But and get the fries. The Where's the McDonald's logo? By the way, I don't know what I'm going to title this. I might title it Thick Boys Get Even Thick Go By Eating McDonald's. Different face? That was, I That's like, 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 did, like, you watching right now, you got to see behind the scenes Hollywood, you know? Wait. Welcome to showbiz. Oh my god, this you guys. This kind of different. It has sesame seeds. What? They didn't put chicken in it. Wait, did I order the fucking healthy one? Oh, you got the... Artesian sandwich. Ew! I got the artesian grilled. Like, <laughs> what is this? Am I that. on a diet? Bitch. Super Size Me already talked about this. There's Ugh. a new Super Size Me and they talked about how every, how they make it sound fancy, you know? Like, what is art artisan? I know, like, no Does one. Know? You know, it, like, they're acting like they're from France or something. No, I'm so sorry, but like. So, what's your opinion on is milk healthy for you? Uh. Just your, no, that's, is milk. Yeah, just, even though you're not a nutritionist, I just want to know. I feel like it has its benefits. Okay. So, I'm actually just going to dive into the next one. It has one, a lot I of think. protein. Oh, yeah, you bulked, right, and drink it all the time. <laughs> I was trying to build muscle last year, and I drank milk. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just it. Apparently, the, the gross thing about milk, though, is that it's made for, like, to grow, like, a 2,000-pound cow. Oh, yeah, I, I always see these tweets about, um, about people being mad about why are we drinking milk if it's, um, Mutt for baby. What's your cows. opinion? You I mean, I'm assuming you aren't on board. Those tweets I understand, but it's confusing because we, when we were kids, maybe it's like con some conspiracy thing, like the milk industry want to make money. I don't know, but, but but when we were kids, I don't know, like when we were kids, what didn't everyone used to always say, "Milk builds your bones." Remember that? Yeah, the whole "Got Milk" campaign. So this is so fucking good, by the way. I remember mean, when they had that mustache and like Hillary Duff, whoever was. I know. That was at my school. School cafeterias across the nation. You would see the current celebrity with the milk mustache. And then in the morning, we would have milk time. But apparently, people think that's all like a, just the way, like, I guess the milk industry just wanted everyone to be on board. Wait, this is other conspiracy theory. We're gonna theory. get into like the Shane Dawson conspiracy of it all. <laughs> oh yeah, this is other one that I heard is that in like the early 1900s, I guess no one liked cheese. Like it wasn't doing good. <laughs> Even though I don't understand it because I love cheese, but, but then I guess like they, they made it cool somehow and that's why everyone loves it today. I don't know if it's true, but. I don't get who runs these foods. Cause like Remy Ashton is this YouTuber if you guys don't know. And she was sponsored by pork. Wait, what? She wasn't sponsored by like a brand. Just pork. Like pork, the meat. Mm hmm. She's like, just so you guys know, like it's a really good food. Maybe like. Maybe they're like American Health Association. Maybe like American Pork Association. So I guess pork is like trying to get in. I feel like I'm not a pork fan. I bet you if you go on TikTok, all the ads are like pork. Get pork. Oh yeah. Good old like, pork eating pork. Pork just reminds me of like a, for some reason it just reminds me of a ghost person saying, I just porked and like at meaning sex. <gasps> I don't I think about. So, um, so do you believe, wait, that person's wearing a glove. I'm scared. <laughs> that means that scared me. There's, there's, there's do you want to try the healthy chicken sandwich? You should have a bite of mine. Oh yeah. There's this person wearing a glove. That's all this like past us. I don't know how I feel about this. This is too... By the way, it feels like I'm only eating half of my lunch right now. Mm. <laughs> oh no. I thought it was a police motorcycle. Bitch, this is good. Want this much? <laughs> like, what? Well, I'm pretty... I don't know exactly what I said because I was... Felt like I was on the spot, even though I wasn't. But I'm pretty sure... I thought I asked for the crispy big one. I think you did. I'm running a zero star review on Yelp. Wasn't there a place we were gonna eat at the other day? But it had such gross reviews. What was it? I don't know. Everything has bad reviews, though. I know. There is always gross shit. Because 
like McDonald's for example, no matter what McDonald's you go to, the reviews are all bad. Just because, like, then, you know what I mean. And I also feel like if you're gonna write a review, it's because you're mad. Like, I, like, I don't think uh -huh. I've loved a place in that I'm gonna write a review. 100%. Most people do it on the internet. They wouldn't know what places are good and what places are close. So fucking sad. I am. Um, How we all base our lives around Yelp. Just kidding. So, so what other topics do you have? I actually have mom. Um, so the milk is healthy, but you actually... Do you guys think that's... Oh, this is a good one. So we actually talk about this a lot. Virtual reality. I said, like, do you think... Mm -hmm. Because... Because it seems like whenever we talk about this... Mm, it seems like... Oh, yeah, put yours up. Let it focus. There you go, Stacy. Mm, oh, Bun, whatever your name is. Well, not whatever your name is, because your name's beautiful. I'm, I'm being like, I'm being like, um, like, I'm, I'm trying to make this like, um, like a role I can let, like, kind of like a role play. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to make it, by the way. Like, so, like, you are beautiful. Wait, how come nobody's made a movement? This is 100% gonna happen. Like, people are saying, like, I don't want a name. That, that's how it's gonna happen. I think that's gonna happen. People are gonna be like, I don't want a name. It's too limiting. You know what I mean? That's gonna like, be a fucking example, be a thing. You hear the name Henry. Something comes to my mind, and people mm -hmm. will be like, I don't want to have those labels. Like, I don't, not the labels, but like, I don't want like the weight of the word Helen on my whole life. No, because people judge you out there. So, like, <clears throat> oh my god. I'm like, joking. when you hear, like, Lucas, like, or Jacob, even. Jacob. I, I think you don't know what like, typical white boy. You know what I mean? He's, like, white kid. I've always loved my name, though. Lucas? I know, like, like Jacob, I like. I like but... I, and this isn't true, but I always thought, like, it's a unique name. <laughs> but, like, it isn't. <laughs> but I remember, like, I never really met anyone named Lucas. I think they'll name <laughs> Luke. But like when you Lucas is like no one I know else because, has that. Okay. Nobody else. So like <laughs> Lucas, like I think it is like a common name, but like in my own life, I don't think I See? know many people named Who's Lucas. Not, have you ever met another Lucas? Have you ever met another Jacob? Yeah, because it's pretty, pretty basic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but obviously, Jacob's more basic than Lucas. But right? I like parents kind of chose basic names for everyone, like Ethan, Jacob, Lucas. Not those like typical boy names. Or in my. It's like Bible names. <laughs> my mom, our mom was like trying to like pretend she's into the Bible. It's like, have you ever read it? <laughs> she, we all know she's never read it. <laughs> just like trying to get clout around the neighborhood. I know, no, they like be like, yes, we're Bible kids. But I, I remember, I remember, um, we did this, like, um, when we were, when our family always went to church, we used to, go, I used to go to this thing, like, every Wednesday, you learn about Jesus and stuff. And I remember thinking it was so hard learning the prayers. I used to be so bad at it. And we'd, we'd have tests and I'd be like, shit, I literally don't know it. Really? I just remember a bad memory of me in those days. What? Because I went to Catholic school growing up. So he did, but um, I actually um, had the... Uh, I, I, I didn't go. I just went to public school. So I went to Catholic school. Then on I switched to public school like in fourth grade. And we went to those weekly Jesus things. I remember nobody else, they didn't go to Catholic so they didn't know anything. I remember like, I was such like a smart ass, just like answering every question and like, it got to the point where the class would be like, we know Lucas knows, but does anyone else know? Like I was so obsessed with like, I know the religion mm. answer, like some fourth grade asshole so into religion. No. Yeah. Like flexing on all these public school kids, like yeah, I went to Catholic school, so I know everything. I know, like try, I try to say public school, private schools are bottle basically. I, know. I literally was such a smart ass, Yeah, bitch. but we were talking about this the other day how if, when you're a kid, is that your true personality? Because I think we were talking about, is your true personality being a know-it-all? I might be. I might just mm. actually be, like, at my core, like a competitive um, asshole. I know, which is, like, literally like, I mean, first grade. I remember racing to get my worksheets done to be the first one done, just to, like, flex. Is it a booba plant? But then, like, it did fade away as I grew up older, though. Or maybe that's your true self. Because I think <laughs> I learned, like, oh, uh, like, that's, I don't know what I learned. I think, like... My personality when I was like in kindergarten was just like being shy. Really? Yeah. When I was like, a kid, I wasn't shy at all because I like didn't like you know you just don't really give a oh, shit. Oh yeah, about you it. just like don't really get it. But you were shy? Yeah, I was actually shy. And then I remember yeah. like I peed in my seat one time, so fucking gross. At school? Yeah. How come this isn't like a family story? <laughs> Spit on my arm. Oh no, I peed in the seat though. 
At school. Disgusting. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Oh no. Wait, <laughs> what are you too embarrassed to ask? That sounds like something you would do. Because even today, like, still, like, say, like, he needs, like, napkins from McDonald's. Like, sometimes you are, like, you don't want to go up to the restaurant. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go up to the like... counter and just be like, do you have any napkins? It's probably, like, a bad thing. But, yeah, I don't like doing stuff like that. So, this is what happened. You had to go to the bathroom and you wouldn't ask to go. I'm not even at a point of what, but I don't know how it happened, but I did pee in my seat. Oh, my God. How old were you? Like... Kinda old. Oh, we need to start a new clip. Okay, well, we're back, guys. It actually, what is that? That's so scary. Did you see that funny? There's this um funny um. Oh, sorry, guys. Tweet about someone making that noise over and over, like that squeaky noise like, that happens with your shoes. You know? There's fucking crumbs on my seat. Oh, like the weird noise your feet make. Yeah. Oh, hi. Let's see I already you... finished my food, which is kind of annoying. She finished the rest of the fillet chauffe. <laughs> Fillet mm. chauffe. I don't know if I stand Fish it fillet. that loud. It's by my foot. I don't, I don't want it, but if you want it. The only thing, I have this like weird fear around fish now because I found out one of the New York housewives mm. <laughs> was allergic to fish. Now I'm scared, like, what if I'm allergic? But like, obviously I'm not. You know what Wait, I mean? I'll be allergic to a bunch of things though. I know, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. Wait, she like... didn't know she was allergic for years? I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. It's so dumb. Um, Let's see if I went over other topics. I actually don't want to either. I know, it's not... Okay, what am I doing? I don't know why, but like... So, this McDonald's thing, I was looking forward to it yesterday because I've had McDonald's in like a week, which is like two weeks or something. That's fucking disgusting, but... But I was looking for... But then like, when you're done, it's like, oh wait. Mine, obviously, wasn't... As Yours good. wasn't standable. It wasn't even like when I think of McDonald's, I think cheeseburger. I don't think a like teasy and chicken sandwich. I was excited for like a crispy ass chicken sandwich, like chick. They're trying to give Chick Fil A a run for its money, but instead, they didn't got do it. Not good. I know. I mean, it was good. It was good, but like, but you know what why I mean? would they try to make it healthy? You know. So this is how we got a lot of the topics. Oh, one of the topics was I want. I'm what? What do you like do 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 it? Because I saw it's conversation topics. I had like a stuttering attack. But I said, "What's your favorite thing?" Can you, you imagine? Your free time? Wait, do you have a conversation with your brother? You have to type in conversation topics. No, no, because Boo, you no, don't even know me. No, we just flow naturally, but it's just in case, you know. But then, um, um, and then rest of the topics. Oh, what was a conversation topic then that you saw? Um, what do what do you do during your free time? I, I we don't need an answer. I that. hate that question. I know. I hate the basic ass questions like what are you doing in your free time? What's your hobbies? I know. I never want to answer. I don't that know if I'm a boring ass person, but when people ask what's your hobby, I always I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what my hobby is. Like I enjoy reading, like <laughs> not there was a chunk in my eyes so thing, but it's not. But yeah. You're fucking disgusting. There's a chunk in there. I thought there Meat? was, but I think it was ice. But yeah, so I don't, yeah, but I don't know, like, there's just certain people that are so confident and they just answer, but I, I mean, I guess I like dancing, I don't, not really, I mean, I don't know. It's like listening to music and going on walks. That sounds so basic. Or I guess, like, maybe our jobs are our hobbies, because we're, we're lucky. Oh, yeah, so, like, when I was in, like, high school, people would say, like, your hobby, like, like, I wanted to do, like, like, make, like, making YouTube videos, but, like, but I was just, I, I was so, I just, like, didn't like talking about my YouTube. In public, I just don't like that. But okay, let's oh my see. God. No hands. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we went. I wanted to end the. Now we don't need to do that. I was gonna end the video with one truth and one lie, but I don't. we can if you want. I don't care. Okay, one truth and one lie about us, though. About like you say one about Both yourself. Both of us. So like, so one time we did this, and then one time we didn't. All right. But it's a lie. So. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so like I don't know how we're gonna do this because like. Okay, so like, what, you, they have to guess. Alright, first off... Okay. You can just say, but, no, you say the first one, then I'll say the second one. And then, like, I would know, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Um... One lie, one truth. And you guys can guess in the comments. Huh. Oh, when we were younger, we used to live by, um, cornfields, a farm. We didn't live on a farm, but we lived by other farms. And there was, like, this irrigation thing that irrigated the corn. And like, I remember one time it was squirting into our yard and we were all so excited and like ran outside. We like put on a swimsuit so fast and like ran outside so we get sprayed by the irrigation pipe. <laughs> just like a good old, you know. Okay, that. White trash childhood story. I don't know, just totally white trash. Like we imagine we were just watching Jerry Springer in the house. All of a sudden, 
water hits someone and we're like, oh my god, the irrigation no. pipe is Blake out. Like it's wrapped around us on the couch. I'm like, oh shit. So excited for the farmer irrigation pipe, probably full of pesticides and it probably in the has water. Chemicals in it. Just dousing ourselves in it, jumping around. Okay, my story. So, 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 um, when you're a palk, um, you know those, um, tubes that are like under. I don't know, what are they called? Like the tubes that are under like a, under like a thing. Like the tubes where they like let when those things out. Like at a park, a public area that's outside. Sewer? Like they have those t t types of out underground, those but tubes. But they're like underneath roads? Yeah. Oh yeah. So one time we were at a park in our small town. And this one didn't have anything in it. So we, so me, Lucas, and like two of our sisters and our, Lucas, everyone, Lucas and Younger in our family, which is like five of us, we went in those for like 10 minutes and then our mom yelled at us and said, get out, that's disgusting. And then we all had to take showers when we got home because she oh, wouldn't let us walk into the house without that taking showers. That was disgusting. Showers. So, guess which one is the lie and which one is the truth. I feel like, I feel like they were both like. Here, should we give them 20, 10 seconds? No. Yes. Oh yeah, wait, we have to, t yeah, yeah, we're gonna pass. You were it. never gonna tell them? I know, I was never, should we never tell them? I mean, they're both like, it's not like anything bad. I know. Both stories, like, if one of them is fake, like, I doubt anyone cares because, like, nothing, it wasn't anything juicy. Like, I, <laughs> I dated, you know what I mean? I know, like, I got a STD. So, okay, so. It literally was just like, oh, I don't really care what you did. as a child. You know I know, literally. Probably none what Stacey's of, thinking. I bet none of you guys are commenting. None of, <laughs> literally, you aren't commenting on your keyboard typing it in. But we're still gonna say which one was the lie. The lie was. Jacob's. Yeah, mine was a lie. At first, I was like, "Did that happen?" No, I was like, it, didn't. it could have. Like easily. I know, because like, you just think of weird shit when you're younger. But yeah, that didn't happen. Lucas is real. We will total white trash. I love white trash, and I'm fine with it. So okay, thanks for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed the dish, and I hope I enjoyed the dish too. <laughs> you hope. You oh wait, this isn't tied. Oh shit! Oh, okay. wait, what happened with that? I forgot how that happened. I don't know. Okay. See you guys later. Goodbye, Zs. Meow. Okay, bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Bye.